Hi everyone, it's Shell from Shell Shell Crochet. I'm back with my advent calendar project. Welcome back to Shell Shell Crochet. So happy to have you here. Welcome to anybody who's new and thanks for everyone who's been here with me throughout my first year of doing some crochet podcasts. Uh, yeah, so January was my first one and today will be my last and I have a few things to show you. So let's hop into it. With the craziness of getting ready for Christmas, most of the things I've made have walked out the door already today and I'm probably not even going to have pictures of most of them. There was quite a bit of little cotton things along the way here in the last little bit and <laughs> preparing for Christmas. Lots of dishcloths and dishcloth sets, so I'll just pop up a couple here. They're all made with uh, Handicrafter cotton, so Bernat Handicrafter cotton in a variety of colorways. If anyone has any questions about the yarn specifics, please just let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to let you know. And I've used quite a bit of the Bernat um, scr Handicrafter Scrub Off as well. And that yarn is combined with regular cotton and also the scrubby cotton built into one um, skein of yarn. Um, interesting to work with that yarn. So uh, it works really well if you want a little bit of a scrubby section. It's awesome to have reusable things for the kitchen. So the main reason for being back so quickly is that I did make the advent project. In my last video, I showed you the lovely advent calendar that I was so generously gifted by Crystal from Ricola's Crochet Corner. And today I'm wearing the end result. I made a poncho. I'll pop up some pictures here as we're talking about it. I chose to hold this fingering weight 100% organic cotton yarn double with the Bernat uh, baby cotton and that is a 60% cotton, 40% acrylic blend. It did make for a fairly thick fabric, much thicker than I was expecting, but as a result, I have awesome drape in this. <laughs> anyway, uh, I really enjoyed it, and initially I had planned to just do another poncho capelet, but when I kind of saw how it started out and how much I had to work with, I figured I had enough for the full length project, and for the first time ever, I made some armholes. <laughs> Anyway, thank you again so much, Crystal. I had fun with this project. I did I did manage to complete it in eight days, and I'll be looking forward to wearing this come springtime. I think it'll look great over uh, sort of a lighter top with jeans. And uh, yeah, so that is that make. Also, I wanted to get to my last hat for the 2020 calendar cow with Seta from Seta's Place. As you can see, I'm popping up a picture here. The hat is mainly red and, and black, as is the calendar picture. Uh, a fun little crow picture there. And yeah, I had fun. I used the falling leaf stitch along with some um, post stitches, basically. So I did a, a little pattern where I did two regular and one um, front post stitch. And yeah, so this is how it turned out. Very happy with it. Um, I'm going to include a picture at the end of, of all of the hats I made for 2020. And yeah, that was really, really fun. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Also, I'm going to insert a picture here of my Make 9. First, you're going to see my Make 9 projects that I had in mind for this year. And then you're going to see the actual projects that I made. So I did take a little bit of liberties with a couple of them. But all in all, I think I did a great job of uh, accomplishing the projects that I set out to for this year. Uh, I've made several blankets throughout the year, so that more than represented the uh, um, center square. And I've made more than one top this year, so that also worked out for the granny square top I was thinking of making originally. Everything else I made as planned, and uh, yeah, so Make 9 was also fun. It really gave me something to work towards uh, each month, and I'm already considering what I'm going to do for 2021 in terms of project goals. I'll be back in early January to talk about what I'm planning for 2021 and how I want to try to keep myself motivated on a month to month basis. I've also been the lucky recipient of several Christmas cards and I will pop up pictures at the end along with who they were from and big thank yous and shout outs to all those people. So if you want to have a look at my Christmas cards, please stay tuned to the end of this video. I am waiting on some yarn. I finally did place an order. Um, with Hirschner's on December the 1st. It shipped from them on December the 3rd and I do not have it yet. Uh, according to the tracking, it has been spending quite a bit of time in Chicago and from what I understand from Hirschner's customer service, that's probably that it's stuck in customs. And she says sometimes it can take up to 21 business days to clear through customs. So just patiently waiting now that I know I don't have to be worried that it stopped tracking <laughs> 
in Chicago. Uh, and I'll just, you know, happily wait until it finally arrives and I'll be happy to show you all when I do get my order. But I do have something I get to open today. Um, I mentioned a couple videos back that Debbie um, from the Canadian Crotch Editor was very generous to give me a Christmas gift that I've been very patiently waiting to open. And I'm going to dig into that now. I'm just going to get rid of some of the tissue so it doesn't make too much of a rattle and I'll be right back. All right, so first we have, look at this. Oh my goodness. I don't even know. I've never seen this before. Wow. Super, super soft. There it is. Serenity Twee. Oh my goodness. 60% um, cotton and 40% wool. Oh my goodness. It doesn't feel like it's got wool. That's awesome. Um, it says color is sweet pea. And then there's a dye lot. It's a three weight. And it says dyne, dyed by Brown Sheep Company um, Inc. Mitchell, Nebraska. And then there's washing instructions and stuff. So there's this, it is Tweety. And it, the Tweety might not um, come up on the camera too well. But it looks like purple and gray. Like it's definitely a lilac -y purple. You can see that much. I'm not sure how much you're going to see of the, the mix in there. Beautiful. And there's five of those. And then there's another one. And this one is called Chocolate Lily. So pretty. The specs are the same. Um, I will just also say it's 3.5 ounces, 100 grams, approximately 210 yards per skein. That is awesome. Look at that one. Oh my gosh, Debbie. Thank you so much. That is beautiful. My wheels are a spinning. I don't know what I'm going to make with that. Beautiful. All right, let's see what else is in the bag. Oh my goodness, there's three sweet rolls in there. So soft. We don't get much access to this sort of stuff here in Canada. Um, anyway, so this is, you guys are probably very familiar with sweet rolls, but how pretty is that? Um, it's five ounces, 140 grams, 245 yards, four weight yarn. 100% uh, acrylic and it is color frosty swirl oh my gosh it's so pretty so that's uh, quite a bit of yardage with three of those it's so 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 soft I did work with one of these once I made a hat because I found one on Amazon at a decent price um, but yeah that's gonna be fun I gotta figure out what I can do with all three awesome there's one more thing in here let me check it out Oh, this one's local to us. She put a little sticky on the outside of it. This looks like um, red almost. Let me see. Check out this purple. I'm going to show you all three and then I'll look at what it says on the outside. Super nice gray. And then this last one is, is like a light teal, but it's got a bit of a, a sheen to it as well. So this one says Camilla Valley Farm uh, and then it says UKI-3 uh, slash 2 Mercerized Cotton and this one's called Duck and this one is 4, dash, uh, four slash 8 Cotton Dark Gray. I think that means that the sizes are a little different and then this one's also 4-8 and this one's just purple. Thank you, Debbie. This is awesome. All things I haven't used before. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, yeah, so just going to wrap up here for, for December 2020. Really not too much crochet related goodness to show yet. First of all, it's a little earlier in the month than I would normally do the podcast, but I figure rather than press, press myself to come back with finished objects, I'm just going to leave it here for the year and uh, I'll just have more to show you next time. I did decide I'm not going to push myself to make the Christmas blanket this year. Uh, I just wasn't feeling it in terms of what pattern I wanted to do and until it really speaks to me, the yarn is really lovely. I have swatched a couple of, I got, I got with, I got to about my four to six inches worth um, with two different stitches and I was like, no, you know what? Don't just do it because you want to get it done. Just wait until you know what you want to make with that yarn and then make it. But I'm very happy to report and I can pop up a picture of the green. The yarn is working out really, really nice. So um, that Starlet Sparkle from Mary Maxim, it does work up really, really nice considering four weight acrylic with a, sh with a, um, a streamer in it. 
it's working out really nice. And uh, yeah, so that'll be on hold probably till next year. Uh, I will have to start thinking about it much earlier next year than I did this year though. And yeah, I have a bunch of things that I'm gonna have to do for um, some birthdays in February. We have a, a second Christmas, if you will. We have eight birthdays in the family in the month of February. And some of those things uh, I will be making. So uh, yeah, lots to do, but uh, not lots to show right now. A lot of little things have already left and uh, that's okay. There doesn't always have to be lots to show. There's been so much going on. I didn't want to take up too much of your time. I've been really enjoying watching everyone's vlogmases and yarn haul videos and different things. I wanted to wish everybody happy holidays. Merry Christmas to all those who celebrate. I hope you have a very safe holiday season. And I'm looking forward to the new year. I'm gonna take some time to think about what I want to do for next year in terms of videos and in terms of what my goals were gonna, are gonna be crochet related. It's always good to have different things in mind from year to year and I really appreciate all of you for spending the time you do with me and um, take care, have a great day and happy crochet everybody. Bye!